And then, this, now we're going to look at karma. Now, applying the law of karma, and you have this in your workbook, I will put the law of karma, cause and effect, into motion by making a commitment to take the following steps. Today I will observe the choices that I make in every moment. And as I witness these choices, I will become conscious of them. I will know that by choosing to be fully conscious, I am preparing myself for each future moment and determining myself to fully con be to fully be conscious as my life unfolds. Being fully conscious in the present prepares me to be fully conscious throughout my whole life. So again, it's, it's a real, I mean, a lot of people will say it's so much work to be paying attention all the time. Yes, it's work, and yes, you have to do it. And there's no getting around it. But it's not work when you make it a practice. It just becomes an ordinary thing, and you always pay attention, you always notice. And that's what you do. The second part is, as I make choices, I will ask myself these two questions. What are the consequences of this choice that I'm making? And will this choice bring fulfillment and happiness to me and to those affected by the choice? It's that simple. Ask the question. You know, I ask people all the time, when you're giving to that person, are you giving to their neediness? Are you, are you giving to the, for the joy of giving, to help them, and to help enrich them? And if you're giving out of needy, because they're so needy, and you have, then, then all you're doing is supporting neediness. There's a consequence to that. There's an effect to that. There's neediness, and what's the other one? Are you, are you giving to their enrichment? Okay. Are you giving okay. because you love giving to their enrichment, to their expansion? Or no. do you and love giving just because you love giving? Yeah. So what's the answer to the question? You know, because many times we're taught, well, you should go see your Aunt Susie, on, you know, da, 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 and then you go, oh. then that's not the way to give. See, that's not the way to give because you're giving out of obligation, which is fear. You know, it's, it's really normal for people to do that. Mm -hmm. I will then ask my heart for guidance and be guided by its message of comfort or discomfort. If the choice feels good or pleasant, I will plunge ahead with openness and abandon. If the choice feels uncomfortable and unpleasant, I will hesitate to recognize the consequences of my action with my inner knowing. In other words, your intuition will speak to you. And it will say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, this doesn't feel good. Don't. Yeah, but a lot of times you're so ingrained in old patterns that when you try something new on, it doesn't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. But then you have to ask that inner knowing, is this a good choice? Is this something for my higher good and their higher good? Or is this not, you know, not for the, you know, is it against me or them? And whatever the answer is, we have to teach ourselves to listen to that inner voice. It's there. I swear it will be speaking to you, especially if you ask for it. I guarantee you it will be there. But you have to pay attention because we're used to being unconscious and just doing by rote. I was taught to give to my aunt. I was taught to visit her, and that's that. Okay, well then, if you're doing it by obligation of rote, it's not going to be pleasant, and it's not going to evoke positive consequences. Um, anyway, this guidance will assist me in making spontaneous, correct choices for myself and those around me. And spontaneous, right choices simply means is this bringing a higher result? It's just bringing a higher energy. If that's a spontaneous, right choice. And if it's, if it's creating negative energy, you know, if me gossiping creates negative energy, then that is a negative choice. Don't do it. And that's how we become conscious of our own state of, you know, where we are and set up our own karma for what we want. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's your assignment then. <laughs> At the bottom it says, I, put your name, make a commitment to apply the law of karma in the following ways. Take a minute and fill out uh, some of that. Right, by one or two ways that you will make a commitment to use the law of karma in your life. It could be as simple as I choose to focus on what I want. It could be I stop and I make a positive choices. It could be I choose to release gossip or um, you know, speaking negative words from my life. Um, what are some other ways that you could use the law of karma? With integrity, like my daughter. And I, I speak with integrity. I live out of integrity. I listen to that inner voice before I take action. Um, what are some other things? What about a conscious choice to love yourself? That That's a beautiful thing. That's beautiful. So, to consciously love yourself means that your love that you can give others increases many, many fold. So I, that's a great, I choose to love myself every day. I choose to speak loving words to myself. Keep, keep expanding. There's one more thing in the back, <laughs> it's the homework part, in the back, very back page. 
I pick a very simple desire, like a want to have a different kind of music in the house, or some new dishes, or glasses, some new kind of coffee. Start talking about it with people, including yourself. Write about it, feel it, get it, get into it. Then start watching for signs. How fast does the universe respond, relating directly to how much feeling good energy you put into your desire? So, you know, if I want to have a new living room chair, and I start talking to people about it, you know, and they say, "Oh my gosh, there's this great sale over here," or "I've got a chair. I want, you know, let me give it to you." Well, how? What are all the ways that the universe starts evoking? signs and signals to me that say, can you do living room chair? So at the bottom of that sheet, I want you to write five little desires, tiny little desires that you would like to have this. So they can't be big ones. These, okay. This one's for just tiny desires. Tiny. Okay. So I don't know what you consider to be tiny, yeah. though. Well, you, decide, some, well, what you consider to be tiny, not me. Yeah. The moment you've given your desire at least 16 seconds of high low energy, the universe goes to work. In synchronicity with your desire, it will bring you clues, signs, glimmers, hints, suggestions in a myriad of different, sometimes off the wall ways. Stay alert, pay attention. So, I want my Arbonne business to grow exponentially to how much a month? You name a figure. Okay, put it down here, number one. That's what I want. I want that desire. Okay, these are the major desires. On the right side of the page, you're going to log all the little things that happen, all the signs the universe is magnetizing to you the desire. No matter how silly or goofy it may seem, write them down and date them. Okay? So now we have the little desires. And what the re why are we doing this? Why are we doing the little desires and the big desires? Who's got a clue? Anybody? It doesn't matter. What it doesn't matter little. what size they are. Okay. The universe doesn't care. Okay. Right. But I want you, when you have no real... Um, judgment about it, oh well I want new coffee, I want a new brand, I don't know, I don't know what it is. When you just, you know, handle it in some indifferent way and non-judgment and no attachment, boom, it can happen so fast. Yes. Tomorrow you walk in and here's, try this new coffee, okay? That's how simple, and I want you to see that because what gets in the way of us manifesting? Our judgments, our attachments, our disbeliefs and so forth. So I want you to see the difference between manifesting little things and manifesting big things. Okay, so just do the exercise. Do the exercise, okay? Do it because I asked you to do it. <laughs> no other reason, okay? Just do it because I asked you to do it. What has shown up in your life? What's the hints and suggestions? If you start seeing this, the patterns, what are the patterns that start? You'll start paying more attention. This is directly related to that desire. <coughs> For our vacation. This is directly related to that desire for new coffee. This is directly related to that desire for new furniture. 